Hey guys, welcome back to the Cool Classic Cage Show. Today I want to just give a real quick discussion based upon what is going to happen given, you know, the Starfield controversy. And honestly, I think it's it's going to become more obnoxious over time now with the Starfield pronouns, um, you know, the anti-woke uh, YouTube community went on an absolute tirade, absolutely attacking Starfield just based upon well, picking pronouns and a questionable storyline that includes a android that is, you know, female that is based upon an individual that was once male. So that seems to be, you know, the big issue surrounding Starfield. But this has been directed more than anything else to the pronoun option in the intro of the game. And here's what is going to happen, given this entire controversy uh, caused essentially by the anti-woke crowd, the anti-woke YouTube community. Um, more games in the West, more than ever before, are likely going to include pronouns in, in their games now. And is that specifically because, well, they're doubling, tripling down? Personally, no. I don't think that that's going to be the case. The reason why this is going to happy, happen is purely free publicity. Um, the insane amount of extra publicity that Starfield got over really the main highlight was the pronouns um, is, is so it's beyond anything else that I've seen. This controversy blew up just because the pronouns inclusion, the insane amount of free publicity Starfield got um, over something that the mass majority of us don't really care that much about. Nobody really cares about the pronoun options um, amongst the middle. Like people, you know, we have the whole woke side and an anti-woke side. Most people in the middle don't really care about that. So, and obviously, a lot of these video game developers notice that. It's more so the, you know, the two specific sides that are battling over this and see it as extremely important. But the mass majority of gamers, specifically, do not care about the whole pronouns thing. It, it, at least if it's the only thing that's presented. The way Starfield presents pronouns it is so insignificant. In, in comparison to the insane amount of hours you could put into this game. Um, I have put now, I believe, about 60 hours into the game. Um, mind you, I've been going from planet to planet, mostly um, killing people in a bunch of dungeons. That's been my go-to. And um, being a hoarding looter to the point where I have to adjust to walking around being the norm, <laughs> at least for now, still uh, leveling shit up and whatnot. But um, with all those hours, not coming across anything at all that would be deemed as, um, you know, real world political ideology, virtue signaling, uh, dog whistles. I'm not coming across any of that after 60 hours of play. All that I came to, you know, to seeing um, so far that is, you know, I guess a dog whistle, if you have to call it something, is the pronoun option. But that really has no direct influence on anything that I've played thus far. So when it comes down to it, Starfield includes pronouns in a very nonchalant way. And a lot of um, video game developers in the West are going to look at this and say, well, damn, look at all this free publicity Starfield has gotten. Just simply including pronouns as an option when you create your character there will in fact be far more games um, that do include this. Will they go even further? Um, some games will go, you know, deranged a gender ideology to the extreme. I'm sure that there's going to be some of that. There's already games that are announced and exist that are very much um, deranged, ideo ideologically driven piles of dog shit. <laughs> Not for nothing, but this will become the norm. And really, the only people that are to blame are the people that have brought an insane microscope on this small little thing in this enormous game. The pronouns are so minuscule that it is 
kind of laughable that it became this massive controversy. And in a sea of, of some insane things being pushed to be normalized that are so questionable that they make my stomach turn when it comes to um, modern day politics, the whole they, them, she, her, uh, he, him situation is one of the most minuscule, really, at the end of the day. So, guys, um, it pains me to have to come to this conclusion, but looking at the grand scheme of things from a, you know, just someone sitting in the middle, like, why are we yelling about this? There's nothing that's going to convince me otherwise that this isn't going to become more of the norm in, in regards to including pronouns in Western video games. That is what it is. I think that it's absolutely stupid at the end of the day, but prepare for it, man. And really, the people that are making this normalize are the people that are fighting against it and not choosing what f battles to fight. I think that's the most important thing that, that needs to be um, addressed is choosing your battles wisely. Choosing to throw this huge tantrum, double, triple, and quadruple down over the pronouns in Starfield is a poorly chosen battle. And because of that, we gamers are now going to have to deal with more consistency for something so stupid in the grand scheme of things. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this whole situation. The world keeps on turning, though, at the end of the day, right? If you can, guys, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you can, hit the bell notification. I noticed that um, less than 20% of my subscribers actually have, you know, notifications turned on for my channel. So if we can improve upon that so that you can make sure you get my videos, um, that helps me and also you since you do, I assume, want to see my content. But yeah, guys, follow me over on Twitter or Kick if you'd like to continue the conversation. And just so you guys know, uh, if you'd like to be a part of my Discord, consider becoming a channel member. A basic men membership gets you instant access to the Discord. People keep asking me, how do you get into the Discord? Well, that's how you do it. Um, you know, just becoming a channel member, it could be, you know, the lowest tier. That's completely fine. Instant access. It is really to keep out the riffraff. I'm sorry, I don't have time in my life to be dealing with people that hate me for some odd reason. But yeah, guys, with that being said, I'm out. Peace.